Okay, so I'm Beck Lane and this is Catalyst and Company. Catalyst and Company, where we're catalysts in each other's lives as well as our own, and we work at being the artists we've always wanted to be. Now, I know we're having trouble with volume on my iPad. I, I don't, it, there's nothing I can do about it. It just is what it is, and we just keep band-aiding ourselves along the way we always have. We just work with what we've got and hope for the best. And as I was telling my friend and neighbor, Pete, most people who watch these videos know that something's going to go wrong. It's just a matter of what and when. So right now we're having to deal with the volume issue. Uh, behind me is uh, Lil, uh, my portraits of Lily Whiteass and Ariola. And you may remember, if you've watched these videos, that I, I started this in 2016. And I really kind of finished it up. I think I finished it up in, in Virginia in 2016. So it's an older painting. It's almost seven, it's like six, seven years old because I did take it out and refresh it at one point in time when I moved into another place or actually a couple places. But anyway, finally, 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 I have a place to show this. I talked about uh, a pop-up event coming up next Tuesday on, on February 7th at a hotel called Art Ovation. And the pop-up show is on the roof at a rooftop bar restaurant event space called uh, Perspective. It overlooks downtown Sarasota and the Gulf. It's really, it's very pretty, it's very fancy, not something I normally do, but this opportunity popped up through Gray Productions, G-R-A-E Productions, and it sounds very big, uh, but it is one woman, a single mom, who's you know, running these events all over Sarasota. So I asked before if um, if you can, if you're inclined to please help her, uh, uh, help her get the show up, uh, just to get stuff done. She's a phenomenally strong woman, a phenomenally uh, driven woman, but with the tiniest budget, it makes mine look expansive. Like I'm a millionaire, even though I have dollar fifty in my bank account. You know she's running on a shoestring so if you can reach out to gray productions and you know if you'd like to help out ask her oh, you know if any well who blah 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 that thing i'll put the links down below to to stephanie uh she's got a lot to do in the next few days and i'm not sure how she's going to do it but i'm sure she'll get it done as with me so i have these this is part of a four panel piece called One King, Four Queens, and the Princess of Polka Dots. And the Princess of Polka Dots is Yeyu Kusama. The reference material for this was taken when I lived in Providence, Rhode Island. Uh, I, I got a hold of my friend Yolande Fisher, Vi, uh, Yolande Fisher, uh, my friend who is no longer with us. And I said, I want to do a photo shoot at a gallery called Scene Gallery. Could you gather some friends and come down? And Yolande showed up with <laughs> Lily Whiteass, uh, drag queen Lily Whiteass, uh, drag artist uh, Twiggy Fisher, and drag artist Ariola, and yeah, that's it. That's the four of them. And these figures were towering over me, and it was one of the happiest, greatest days of my life. I could not stop giggling. Uh, my friend photographer Brett Her Henriksen, who now lives in New York, and his photograph doing photography in New York. He took the pictures, but he would say, ready? And I'd start to giggle. I was so, I was just really happy. So I'd start to giggle and I'd go, wait a second, wait a second. And I'd give a look and he was able to capture me not giggling a few times. And this is one of those times. I'm actually in the middle of the crowd. You can kind of see my ghost-like figure over there. I'm standing between two canvases, so I'm not the focus. I made me ghost-like, so I'm not the focus uh, the artists around me are. Now, in pulling this out, I've wanted to show this for years, you know, ever since I did it. And I never, ha I haven't had a place. I haven't had anybody who's been like, yeah, drag artists and gender fluidity, let's go, until Stephanie. Uh, Stephanie, Stephanie was like, you know, I asked her, what do you, what portfolios do you want to see? And she's like, I don't know. So I just started listing off some of the different portfolios I have. And I have many and they're intertwined and they connect. Uh, 
uh, they intertwine and they connect, but I needed a, a specific theme. So she said, oh, let's, let's go with LGBTQ. Let's go with the drag artists and the, and the uh, gender fluidity. So I said, okay, then pulling out the paintings. Some of the, I've been pulling out a lot of paintings actually, but I looked at this the other day and as proud as I have been of this 12 foot long piece, this four canvas, 12 foot long piece, Lily White Ass has really bothered me. I mean, bothered me since I finished her. I just, her shirt didn't have any detail in it. Her face was um, incorrect. The proportions were incorrect. So I pulled her out. This has to be delivered uh, next Tuesday on the 7th. So I've got one week to refresh her, let the paint dry, but also do uh, glaze the size of the paintings. Um, I've aerosoled them and then I have to glaze them and then they need time to dry, which we don't have a lot of. But I'm really happy because I'm finding her shirt, the denim shirt. I found the proportions in her face. It's, this has been a major key. I worked, when I originally did this, I worked from a poster, a, a print of the photograph. And so I really didn't see everything well. The iPad that we use, the one with the, with now the bad mic or the dying mic, I'm, I was able to photograph the reference material, we photograph it and blow it up so I can see her, I can see what's going on. And I'm really thrilled with that. Um, yeah, because I'm able to pull out the creases and the lights in the dark so much better. I also saw that she's wearing a designer earring up there, which I kind of made up in the beginning. I was like, I think there's an earring there. I'm not sure. But now she's going to have an earring. So I'm going to go through, fix her. I've been readjusting some of the shadowing on uh, Areola. Um, those are Pete's dogs, by the way, barking. Uh, Twidgy is pretty much done. Uh, and I'm going to readjust some of Yolande's face because it's never been quite right. Here's the thing. On top of having this show where everything has to be delivered next Tuesday at 2 p.m. And there's a multitude of paintings that are ready to go. They're actually, they're ready. They're, I've been looking them over. Everything's clean. Everything can be hung. No problem. Uh, the same woman, Stephanie Gray, has, uh, has another opportunity for me at a uh, wine bar called Vino. I don't do wine bars. I don't do coffee bar. I'm not doing the coffee shop thing. That was 12 years ago, 15 years ago. I would have jumped at it. But now I, I'm a bit of a snob and I'm like, no, no, I'm not hanging in the local coffee shop for the, ex you know, the great exposure that we all, that line we all get. Fortunately, Stephanie's never used that on me. Um, it'll be great exposure. No, it won't. People are staring at their phones and their laptops and their iPads. They're not looking to buy art in a coffee shop. That's ridiculous and it's self-serving for the, for, the, for the venue. But in this case, this is actually an art-centric wine shop uh, or wine bar. And it's an upscale wine bar, so I'm really excited to be showing there. Plus, it's another opportunity to work with Stephanie, who is spreading her wings and going outside of Sarasota to do things. And she's working with entertainers and all kinds of people. That's why I'm saying, if, if you can or if you're inclined, please get a hold of Stephanie. Again, I'll put the links down below. Um, I know she could use financial help. She could always use financial help. Because uh, we live in an, in an art city that doesn't really value artists. Uh, so, you know, if you're inclined, that would be fabulous. But we're going into Vino, and actually, she messaged me last night and said, the artist that's in there is taking their work out this, uh, this weekend. Can you get things, can you get some paintings there? And I'm like, I, yeah, I have tons and tons and tons of paintings. But... With those paintings as well, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do aerosol the sides and I'm going to glaze the sides. This is how I frame my work without framing my work. Now, here is the larger issue. Not just the money and the time and the blah, blah, blah. It's keeping myself calm enough to get the work done. Now, if I had been hit with this 
15 years ago, 20 years ago, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, 10 years ago, I probably would have been in a major panic. Yeah. Yeah. But at this point in time, um, and I am patting myself on the back, but not. This is also saying, you, you know, if you're not there, you can get there too. I've done this enough and I've done enough shows and I've produced enough work where I can go, oh yeah, this is how we're going to break it down. This is how we're going to get everything done in a non-helter-skeltery, nilly-willy way. Today, I'm going to finish up a Lily White Ash Ashes shirt. I'll have it done by this afternoon. I'll glaze the sides. I'm not going to glaze the bottom of the paintings, but I will glaze the sides. I'll set them aside to dry. Once that is all done, by later this afternoon, maybe this evening, I'll start pulling out work that Stephanie um, has said that she'd like to see hanging up and uh, looking it over, going going over it, pulling work that's already done. The, the, the glazing has been done, the profiles have been done. They're ready to hang, pulling out some of that work for her to see, but pulling out other work where I haven't had the time, the money, the supplies uh, to get them prepped for showing. I'm gonna pull them out and see what we can do. <coughs> so if, what I'm saying is, I'm, what, what I'm saying is, this is a lot of pressure. This is now, I've got, today's Tuesday, so I've got three or four days to get, I think, eight paintings ready to be hung up over the weekend. I'm not sure how realistic that is, but uh, to get eight paintings ready for the weekend, maybe nine or ten, I'm not even really sure, and then have all the other work ready to go out to be in the truck Tuesday morning to be delivered Tuesday afternoon. It's a lot. It's a lot, a lot, a lot. But we break it down. We break it down based on experience, based on exper our experience. How can we break this down to keep ourselves calm? So it is focusing on Lily White ass today. Also reworking some of the shadowing in the background, the lights and shadowing in the background, uh, applying blues to areola, make, and then going panel by panel and making sure that it's all cohesive. That will be done by later this afternoon, maybe this evening, but I'm going to say later this afternoon. Then we move on to the next project. We move on to the project of pulling, pulling artwork that's ready to go, pulling artwork that needs to be prepped and getting that ready. It's a lot, but I am so deeply grateful to be in this position instead of the position I've been in for years where it's like, I'm alive, does anybody know I'm here? Uh, I prefer this over languishing or having my, my life and my career and my artwork with a flat line. Now mixed into all of this, I'm reaching out to people I know uh, around the city and I'm like, hey, you know, I'm trying to, I get to do that at night when I can sit down. Um, but I started doing it already this morning, uh, reaching out to people around the city. I happen to know the mayor of Sarasota. Sounds very fancy, but I lived across the street from his dad in Newtown, the black, black uh, African-American, black, black and brown section segregated section of Sarasota, complicated. We've talked about it before. I lived across the street from his dad, who is a, a fine uh, clothing tailor in town. So we, 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 we became friends and acquainted. And uh, so I've reached out to Kyle and I've asked him, you know, am I gonna see you next Tuesday? Um, I have printed material about the show coming. And so this weekend, I'll be going around the neighbor, around to my neighbors who like my artwork and are interested in delivering that material. I've also got people who are higher on the food chain who I've got to reach out to as well, physically get them the printed material, postcards or whatever, and say, hey, you know, I hope you can make it. There's a lot. There's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. But we just break it down. We take it and we break it down. We take it and we break it down. We categorize it and we break it down. I'm sorry, I don't, I, th I think I'm trying to give you some advice on how to deal with going from nothing to something in five minutes. Um, I actually had 
uh, I met a man the other day who was very big in Florida government, apparently, and uh, he's friends with a curator director at the local museum. He's like, oh, I've got to get her to see your artwork. Um, and I'm like, I lost my domain name, which we now have back. It's a lot of this, ah, oh, 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 ooh, ah, uh, ooh. So I've got to reach out to him. I've got to reach out to her. I know that there's, he has a friend who's a philanthropist and collector who I need, who I have to get, make sure gets material in his hands. It's a lot. If you're in this position, write out your to-do list, what you need, what you need to get done and just get to work, but break it down, make it easier on yourself and break it all down into sections. So I'm gonna shut up now. I'm gonna get back to doing Lily White ass. I have to shower because I'm very smelly. I can't even stand the smell of me right now, but here we are. We're gonna get through this and I can't wait to update you on what, what happens next. I've been brought back to life. I've been reincarnated as an artist. This is fantastic. All right. Uh, I'm Beck Lane. This is Catalyst and Company. If you'd like to help support Catalyst and Company, all the links are down below, including PayPal, Cash App, um, T Public, Patreon, uh, and my art galleries as well. Chasing Galleries, Blue Egg Gallery, and uh, Raphael Coelho at Artfront Galleries in New Jersey. Again, if you're interested, if you're interested in helping Stephanie Gray, contact me. But also, I'll make sure there's a link down below to her Instagram account. You can talk to her directly. All right, ready, Carrie? Here we go. Cheer, cheer, meow, meow, boink.